Hello, followers of the Triple S, the Sneeze, Shopify, and Stitch Leggings Challenge. My name is Tom, your host, and in today's episode, the third installment of this challenge, we're going to be talking about something that isn't sexy, but is very, very close to my heart and is actually foundational uh, if you're going to grow your store and, as we found out, uh, is going to be have a, is actually going to have a massive impact as we try and reach that 100k. Uh, but before we go into that topic, I want to give a brief update on what's been happening since we started, or since the second video, which was posted last week. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, we are going for 10k pounds in the month of April. You can see we're a third of the way through the month. We're only at 2.4k. You can see some very terrible days here. Now this is because uh, we've transitioned our Facebook ads from me running them to a Facebook ad master running them. So there was a few days there with no ad spend. Um, but now the, the ads are with a new Facebook guy and we're going to do, do a whole video with testing loads of stuff. I'll share everything that's working and everything that isn't working on that uh, in the future. Uh, and so we should hopefully see those sales come up and potentially hit the 10K month. Who knows? Uh, this is the goal anyway. Uh, what else has been happening in the background? Oh yeah, interestingly. So I've managed to acquire, a pro I think it's the domain bargain of the century. I've managed to acquire the domain meggings.com. Uh, as you can see, well, as you know, Stitch Leggings and the Male Leggings store, uh, Male Leggings are commonly known as Meggings. Now, if you do a Google search for buying Meggings, we're probably number one or number two. Now, you see we're number one. However, if you do a Google search for Meggings, we're number three or number four. Here we go, we're actually number five. Now, so I have managed to acquire, I'll bring my face back, uh, the domain, Meggings.com, for a total of $150. So I'm going to be sharing kind of how that happened. It was actually pretty fortunate. Uh, but also what we're going to be doing with that domain to hopefully dominate that search term uh, in the future. If anybody is an e-commerce SEO guru, feel free to reach out to give me your insights. I haven't fully decided on the strategy yet, so that'll be very useful. So you can uh, just ping me, just ping me in the comments below or drop me an email at tom at sneeze.io. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And as I mentioned, a topic that isn't that sexy, but is crucial. It's something I think we do really well with the leggings. And it's the topic of systems. And so I've actually made some slides here and I'm going to talk you through some concepts that I've sort of developed over the past four years of being an online business. And for some credibility, you can see that uh, I did build and launch a, an online course called Virtual Assistant Mastery uh, that goes deep into this. We're only going to cover like one of the modules today, probably. Um, if you want to download this course, uh, you can go <laughs> and get it for free uh, on this site here. Though that is illegal. <laughs> um, right, let's jump into today. So I'm going to share, I'm going to go full screen with this. So, no full screen, I need to present. Yeah, why is Google Drive not showing me that option? Two seconds, team. I just need to get the slides up. Triple F challenge. Okay. So, let's run through. Escape. Sorry for this delay. And we're going to present. Awesome. So I really, really like this quote. And it's from obviously Albert Einstein. He's saying that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking, on the same level of thinking we used to create them. And this really, when you get, when you really get at one with this quote, he's basically talking about um, levels of meta-awareness or levels of thinking. And I'm not going to go into too much depth here, but it, the, really the solution for this problem from a business sense 
Uh, it was provided by the awesome book that Enos revisited, I will link below, uh, by Michael E. Gerber. Basically, in this book, he says that in your business, you could be doing three different types of tasks, the entrepreneurial tasks, uh, which sit above the business system, the managerial tasks, which are within the business system, but managing the different resources within that system, and then the C, or the, the lowest level, which is the, the te technician, which is actually being part of the business system. So if we take this into an e-commerce sense, if we look at this from an e-commerce frame, the technician is doing the customer support, is doing the fulfillment, is building the website, is doing the marketing. Uh, a manager is a person who's managing that person and the entrepreneur is sitting above either hiring the manager or looking for investment or looking to sell the business. So why this is relevant to this quote is if you are looking to build and ultimately sell a business, you need to step outside and think at a different level. Uh, you need to be more strategic and not to spend all your time working within that business. So that is important, uh, but you do need to step away and start thinking at a different level. And it is really, really hard to do this if you are stuck doing all the technical and even managerial tasks. So if you are doing the product development, if you are doing the marketing, if you are doing the customer service, then it's hard to take that strategic viewpoint. Now, there are two tasks that I wouldn't delegate at any point unless you can hire somebody who is really good, and that is the marketing, getting people to buy your stuff, and the product or the innovation. Uh, according to Michael Gerber, business can be split into just marketing and innovation, and innovation basically means product. Uh, everything else is just a cost. So I, I wouldn't sort of try and get rid of the marketing and innovation that should remain with you, but all of the other surplus tasks uh, are technical tasks that you don't necessarily need to be doing. And if you're doing those tasks, it means you are not spending time investing into marketing and innovation, which is ultimately how you're going to grow your store. So the, 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 the real goal is to understand, become aware where you're, where you're investing time in technical tasks and shift up. And so you get rid of those technical tasks either to software, like automated, automate them using software, or getting a virtual assistant, a virtual assistant manager, and we'll go through that in a second, that will do those tasks. So you can go become the manager and spend more time being the entrepreneur. Um, and so there's a, quickly, let's, so here's the question, understanding where you're investing your time and how you can shift that to be more managerial or entrepreneurial. And so what I, what I want to sort of quickly jump over to now is, or what I want to refer you to, is a blog post I wrote only two weeks ago, which, out, which outlines, and I have it right here, the, the five tasks that you definitely should not be doing and that you should outsource immediately, either to a piece of software or to a virtual assistant. Now, let's quickly skin, jump down to the task. I, in this post, I'm going through what I call the efficient outsourcing formula. So I built and sold this business, and as part of this, it's just an online marketplace for Filipino virtual assistants. And as part of that, the content marketing for that, I developed this formula, which is basically how you outsource any task. So I'm going into that. We're not going to go into too much detail here. But it's basically the process for you to take those tasks, that are the technical tasks that you don't need to be doing, and give them to somebody else, give them to software, or give them to a virtual assistant. And now the, the, the crucial element here, or, or the really important part when we're looking to grow our stores, is that you need to be spending time on the product and marketing. That's what's actually going to grow your store. And one, if we focus on marketing for a second, once you have a marketing channel that's working and is profitable, e.g. Facebook ads, you can then delegate most of the technical work of, of that task to somebody else, either to a piece of software or to a virtual assistant, and then you move on to the next task. And that is how you actually grow your store, is by continually getting rid of the routine technical tasks and you investing your creative energy, your creative brilliance uh, into product innovation or marketing. Uh, and so the, the task that I, I, I would definitely not be doing, uh, if you're doing any of these right now, a, a fulfillment, marketing, customer service, social media, and reporting. So the, what I think we've done quite well with, with Stitch is all of those things, none of the three founders of the business actually touch. So we have a virtual assistant manager who manages the marketing support, the customer service, and social media, along with the help of software tools such as snooze.io. Of course, I have to mention our sponsors. Sneeze basically uh, automates 
post-purchase social sharing for your customers to to get them to bring in more customers. So she used to have to do, do all that work, like incentivize people to share, collect that content and do stuff with it. But now Sneeze just does that for her and she does other higher value tasks. Um, the fulfillment is handled by a company in the UK. And so the, the three founders, one is focused on the finances and product innovation. The other one is on sales. And then me, I'm just focused on marketing and growth. Uh, and so that is ultimately how, how we believe we, we can grow our store to, to that level is because we're spending all of our time on product innovation and growth and just a tiny bit on finances just because we're, trying, we're actually having to run a business. So what I would urge everybody here to try and become aware of is where are you spending time on those technical tasks and not marketing or product innovation and then get software or get a virtual assistant to handle all of that for you. And this blog post outlines how you actually go about handing that stuff over and also will outline what you do with each of these tasks to get rid of them. And so there we are. That is the, the, the message for this week. Go, going forward, I'm gonna be posting a video. I'll bring my face back. I'm gonna be posting a video every Wednesday. So people know that there will be a new video in the challenge every Wednesday before 5 p.m. GMT or just around the, the end of the day in the UK on a Wednesday. That's when, when you would check. If you're subscribed on YouTube, uh, you'll get notified. If you're not subscribed, I recommend subscribing now so you can get notified. And if you have a sneeze account, you can get a free sneeze account uh, by clicking below. You can, I'll email you with each video. Um, and so, so to summarize, I'm going to jump back to the slides. It's really about understanding where you're investing your time and when you free yourself of those basic technical tasks, the tasks that are working for that marketing channel that you've just built, you can then go and invest your more time into product innovation and marketing, which is gonna help you grow the store. And then ultimately invest more time into being the entrepreneur, which is sitting outside of your business system, uh, which is where you can be more strategic and either get investment, work with partners, sell the business, um, or do that other fun stuff. So. That is the video for this week. Um, it wasn't so sexy as in this is what we've done to like make loads of sales. This is what we've done to sort of grow our revenues. Um, but that is coming. As I mentioned, we have a new Facebook ads guy. We're testing loads of stuff. Some stuff is working, uh, some stuff isn't, which is good. We can share that uh, in a coming video. Also, some interesting an interesting development in terms of the megas.com domain acquisition. Uh, so all of that will be covered in the coming weeks. So I want to thank everybody for all of, all of the support and for joining me on this challenge. Um, I look forward to speaking with you all very soon.